Welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to sync audio in VLC media player. Let's begin. Syncing audio in VLC media player or adjusting the audio time to match the video is necessary if the audio is out of sync with the video. Of course VLC provides tools to correct this issue and here's how to adjust the audio time in VLC media player. Now I need you to open the VLC media player and then I want you to open any video that you wanted to sync the audio in. Alright, just click on media and open file to locate its directory or simply press the control button plus O key. Now if you think that the audio is behind the video, you need to click on the tools of the upper portion of the tab and click on track synchronization. Alright, make sure that you are real time watching the video to check if it's behind the, the audio is behind the video or it's uh, moving too fast now if the audio is behind like um five seconds um behind all right put in minus five as you can see there's going to be an option that says hastened or speeds up all right and it would it would um compensate in sync with the uh, video uh properly now if the video is um faster than uh, maybe 10 20 seconds you might want to put in the 20 seconds so that it could be delayed or um, uh, slowed down all right now when subtitles are used syncing audio ensures that the timing of the spoken words matches the subtitle making it easier to follow along especially for videos with audio descriptions for visually impaired viewers proper audio synchronization ensures that descriptions align with the corresponding video content now you see after that there's going to be an option that says a subtitle speed you can also do that and the uh, subtitle duration factor but that's for a different video we also have a separate video on how to uh, decrease the speed for subtitles here on the uh, VLC media player that you might want to check but for now check the video if it's working all right you can adjust all the uh, time here and hopefully it can correct these issues and provide a better viewing ex um, experience because in my case fixing audio sync issues can be a part of repairing or improving video files that have been recorded or encoded incorrectly all right and of course, you can address these various needs and ensure a more seamless, enjoyable, and effective viewing experience. I believe that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.